Hamamatsu Photonics is proud to offer a device that captures ultra-fast optical phenomena, the universal street camera. The street camera is different from ordinary cameras in that it captures temporal changes in light intensity during phenomena that occur within a very short period of time. In this streak image, the observed light is spectrally split along the wavelength axis. The y-axis, on the other hand, displays the intensity of the light that can be seen to decay over time. In this way, the streak camera can simultaneously capture not only temporal changes, but also spatial information such as position or wavelength. Street cameras have an extremely high time resolution of 800 femtoseconds. 800 femtoseconds is such a short amount of time, during which light only travels 0.24 millimeters in vacuum. The study of optical phenomena occurring within such extremely short periods of time is becoming essential in new fields in the realm of physics, chemistry, and biology. Here are some typical applications. The first is perovskite solar cells from the field of materials development. Perovskite solar cells are attracting attention as a next-generation solar cell that can be produced at lower cost than conventional silicon solar cells and are lightweight and flexible. The street cameras contributes to the elucidation of the mechanism of energy conversion by measuring the time-resolved fluorescence emission of the perovskite materials. In a collider, where electrons and positrons collide with each other to experiment with elementary particle reactions, a street camera is used to monitor the timing of the beams, which is a critical aspect. The street camera can not only measure the timing with picosecond precision, but can also measure the size of electron clumps with an accuracy of one picosecond, contributing to particle physics research. In quantum cryptographic communications, the quantum behavior of light must be known correctly. One of its behaviors is the anti-bunching of light, and to confirm this state, the time difference between photons must be accurately known. The street camera can perform such measurements with an accuracy as high as one picosecond, supporting cutting-edge research. This is how a street camera works. A streak camera contains a streak tube, which is the heart of the camera. Pulsed light is injected through the slit. Light passing through the slit is directed to the photocathode of the streak tube. Here the pulsed light is converted into a group of electrons, which are accelerated and move through the streak tube. Inside the streak tube, a sweep electrode is configured to become positively charged when a voltage is applied. Since electrons are negatively charged, they are attracted to the positively charged electrode, change orbits, and hit the phosphor screen at the top. As the amount of voltage applied to the sweep electrode is varied, it attracts fewer electrons and the position at which they strike the phosphor screen moves downward. Streak cameras use this sweeping motion to observe optical phenomena in a time-resolved manner. As a result, the light that enters the streak camera first appears at the top of the phosphor screen, and the time-delayed light is shown in a column as one moves downward. The Universal Streak Camera has a wide range of applications due to the analysis of optical phenomena occurring at ultra-high speeds.